If you have aluminum grove type landing gear on your airplane, you have a couple options on what you can do with it. For example, on my Kit Fox, I'm painting the landing gear black. On my Zenith Cruiser, I wanted the landing gear polished to a mirror-like finish. So like most people, I bought some aluminum polish and I used a buffer and I polished the landing gear. But as you can see, it doesn't look that great. If you look at the edge here, you can still see machine marks on the gear, manufacturing marks, and on the surface, if you look close here, you can see a lot of pits and grooves and surface imperfections. No matter how much you buff, you won't get rid of this. If you guys know me at all, you know that I can't be happy with those kind of results. I want my landing gear to look like this. This is the result of me working with the gear for hours and hours. But look at the edge, it's nice and smooth. All the machine marks are gone and the surface has a mirror-like finish. Well, the first thing we wanna do is look at some of the equipment you're going to need. The first tool is a die grinder with a Scotch-Brite wheel on the front of it. That is gonna do the bulk of the work in removing the grooves and the pits and holes from the aluminum. The next thing you need is some aluminum polish and there are many brands that you can get. Uh, this is just the brand that I got. It's from Nuvite. I picked it up at Oshkosh. And obviously you're gonna need the associated um, buffing wheels and buffer and, and things like that. But this one has three different grades from rough to fine. And of course you're gonna need some sandpaper. When I sanded it with sandpaper, I started with 200, and then I went to uh, 320, then 400, and then after a while, just for fun, I started using 3,000 and 5,000, which I'll show you in just a bit on the video. Step one, take your die grinder and go over the entire surface of the gear. You really need to just take your time and let the die grinder or the Scotch-Brite wheel really work away at all those grooves and little holes and pits. You also want to clean up the edges and this is how you get rid of all those machine marks and cut marks. And you can really shape the edge pretty nicely with this Scotch-Brite wheel. You can make it nice and round so that when you polish it, it looks great. After you are done with the Scotch-Brite wheel, now it's time for some elbow grease. Start off with 200 and just sand as much as you can and then clean it up with 320 and then 400, just getting finer and finer as you go. And wet sand too. Wet sanding is a lot easier and better than, than dry sanding, but you'll, you'll notice uh, even more of those marks will come out with the sandpaper. When it's done, wipe it dry and buff it again and see where you're at. So after using the Scotch-Brite pad, the sandpaper, and then polishing it, I still noticed there was still a little bit of imperfections in the surface. <clears throat> so I used the, the grinder again on it, and then I sanded it down, and I just bought a couple more polishing pads, and I'm going to try it again now and see what kind of finish I can get the second time around. So one of the things about this polishing compound when I bought it is they never really told me how much to use. So I just kind of guess a little bit. I don't think it takes a whole lot. So I just kind of smear a little bit on there. The problem with these new pads I bought too is they don't seem to have the, the Velcro inside that makes them stick so they come off easy. Oh well.
I wanted to show you what it looks like now. I just sanded it with up to 5,000 grit paper, or it's actually a sanding pad. But it almost looks like it's buffed and polished already, and it's really not. This is just sanded with 5,000. So the next step is to put the uh, rubbing compound on it again, or the buffing compound, and buff it out. Well, here are my final results on the gear. I'm real happy with it. I think it looks really nice. And I can't wait to see it up against the blue wheel pants and the, the blue paint on the fuselage. You'll notice on the top, I didn't bother doing the top. This goes up into a gear channel and it's against the bottom of the airplane. So you'll never see this part of the gear. But I did do the other side, of course. I think both sides look good and they kind of look like they're chrome plated but it's obviously just polished aluminum I did do the bottom of the gear also but I'll let you in on a little secret I didn't spend quite as much time on the bottom as I did the top if you look in the light you can still see there's a few surface scratches on it but it's good enough it still looks really good and when it's on the bottom of the airplane upside down uh, it's gonna look just great All right, everybody, thanks for taking a few moments out of your day and watching this video. I do appreciate you subscribing to the channel and watching the videos and giving them a thumbs up if you like. If you'd like to see a lot more of these kind of videos, please consider supporting the channel. If you go to aircraftstickers.com and buy yourself a cool little airplane sticker, I use that money to help pay for some of the video equipment that I need to make better and better quality videos. Thanks again, everybody. appreciate the support, and I will see you on the next video.